everyone! <laughs> Welcome! Uh, sorry, I was just... At least I remember he's awake as an owl. Concentrating, concentrating on getting the paint into the nooks and crannies. You know, just before you start a stream, you, yeah. there's two of you, and your wife says, Are you ready? And your husband says, Yeah. And you go, Go on then. And then this silence. Because I, I didn't hear you say, Go on then. <laughs> go on then. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Pete says you've got to hydrate and maybe wake up a bit. Everybody hydrate! What you, what, you got water? Water. Water. Is the dog painting tonight? <laughs> no, but I did, um, when I was doing the description for the stream, I wrote chrome dragon panting mm. <laughs> instead of painting. So, you know, it could have been a completely different type of stream. No, Giz Gizzy Cam's normally on. We've not been for a while, Jay. <laughs> it is, it is uh, Gizzy Cam sleeping, because all he ever does is sleep, despite the fact he's not done anything today, he's, apart from run up and down stairs. He's yeah, just Sharon? trotted around and stretch. done Stretch! Pete the Hydrator says stretch. Stretch! Yeah, this is Gizzy Cam. But it, it is live. Uh, Wiki D thought it was a photo of Gizzy once because he doesn't move. He is. But look, he, he is alive. <laughs> huh? Oh, no, he woke me up. What's the matter? What's I, was, matter? I was asleep and you woke me up. He was asleep. He was asleep. It's a tiring life being a puppy dog. Is it? There he is. There's you, that. Yep, I am one of those annoying people that talks to the dogs like a baby. <laughs> don't talk to babies like this though, so that's a curious fact about me. <laughs> so you can go back to sleep now, mate. It's alright. So I am uh, just before the stream. Mrs. MLG reminded me that I'm supposed to have uh, painted this mini by the end of June. It's Wicked D's fault for asking about the uh, yeah. RCL quarter. So uh, I thought I'd best get some undercoat on it. So while I'm waiting for an oil, a uh, uh, yes, I suppose it's technically an oil wash, an oil wash to dry on the Chrome Dragon, the uh, which I shall explain shortly. Um, I thought I'd get some primer on this guy. So this is we're using using some good old Reaper Black primer, brush on primer, uh, which has excellent coverage and adhesion to uh, Bones Minis. I'm applying it with the scabby old Army Painter Monster Brush, which I don't generally use Army Painter brushes anymore, apart from this one, which I use for liberal uh, ink washes and base coating. Because the it might just be my jabbing technique, but this is the state of it. Jay says we took Emily the dog to Norman Norman. What's that say? Norman. Bay? Norman B Hall Fun Day. Norman B Hall. For, where's Norman B Hall? Uh, Norman B. Oh, thanks. thanks a lot. It's uh, near Wakefield, I believe. Sharon says, today I tried one of the Dark Star, stop moving dog, Dark Star Molten Metal Paints. Oh my, gorgeous colour and really, really awesome consistency. Saying it as a metallic paint hater. Yes, that's why, that's why we got them in because Mr. MLG loves them and, and yeah. really rates them. So we got them in to stop. But I don't think they're downstairs, are they? They're not because there isn't a, a rack. display rack for them yet. We're waiting for them waiting for it to uh, to come so we can get it on the display. Are you going to show everyone your toy? Because we did have it. We did have them downstairs, but they were in a, a rack that we'd labelled up ourselves and it wasn't the most presentable, I'm afraid. So we took him away so we could try and make it downstairs look a bit tidier. Excuse me. Had a lot of fizzy pop. There's dog bum, everybody. <laughs> nice, nice view of dog bum. Gizmo has a toy. You won't be able to see it because he's just sat on it. 
and it's a it's it's not a dog toy it's a boofy uh, it's like a it's a toy for kids yeah. and it's like a stuffed dog can I have a look at your boofy can I can I have boofy this here look this is boofy or boofles or something something like that it's it's one of those boofle, things. That's it, boofle. It's one of those things that they have in uh, Clinton cards for about fifty pounds or uh, something. And he's had it for four whole days, and it is still in one piece. This is the only toy in the history of Gizmo toys that has lasted this long. They normally last about an hour, yeah. and he hasn't ripped it to pieces yet. It's like ridiculous. I he think. must he must actually like it, and he carries it around with him and stuff. Yeah, and Which he's, is really he's, had cute. It, he's had it at the shop today. So if anybody sees one in a local charity shop, yeah. uh, let me know, because it's bound to not last uh, too much longer. But yeah, so he's got a little boofle, and he's all happy. He's been carrying it around the shop today. I didn't hear anybody uh, thinking that he was locked in. Oh yeah, time. I did, yeah. Uh, it's near Barton, just over the Humber Bridge. Apparently, is uh, Norman B Hall. Oh, that's not the one I, I was still, thinking. I still of. can't say out loud because uh, I'm not very good at reading. Should have gotten them earlier. and Need to get more. I only got one. They're just fantastic, says Sharon. Yeah, they are. We've been telling you. See. <laughs> <laughs> they are good. They are good. Have you tried polishing it? Mm. Once they're dry, you can polish them to have, have a higher shine. That is one of the things that you can do with the Dark Stars. Molten metal range. They are uh, quite excellent. Quite well, excellent. How come you tried them then? Because they're not a, they're not like a GW or a Vanilla or, you know, how yeah. did you stumble across? So uh, I found them at a war games show where they were selling uh, them on and they were they had loads of signs up saying that they were new and that they were really good metal paints and what have you and I had a little look at them and they were showing off some samples and stuff and uh, I picked three so I got royal gold, old silver and pewter um, to try out and I've been using them ever since and unfortunately I could never find them again um, so I couldn't get any more and then it, we discovered that one of our distributors uh, got 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 the uh, got the distribution kind of rights for them. So then we uh, we made sure we got them into store because they're ace. But we've run out of old silver at the moment, and I need some more because mine ran out the other night. So, so really, uh, it's just we got them in for your private stash. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're not downstairs on the shop floor. Yeah. They're in the stock room. They're secretly, just your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we've, we've run out, so, no, we're gonna, okay. so we're going to have to have a, a, another order to get some, but it's the same place that we get dirty down rust from and I think we need some more of that. So. Jason, is any more news on um, GW, Lisi, 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 You said that they're probably going to say the date at this weekend, didn't you? Yes, yeah. I, I'm pretty certain uh, that this weekend we'll get to find out the release date. Um, and the price and stuff potentially and that it will go on pre-order from 10th Saturday the 10th but this is all uh, this is all guesstimations yeah Mr. MLG's theory uh, but I'm pretty confident in it I would I would be prepared to go and put some money on at the bookies if that was Ooh. such a thing that this is uh, this is what would happen there's a wild uh, Pokemon chat as well uh, so yeah release on the uh, official release date on the 24th and uh, pre-orders starting on the 10th but, but we will let you know when we actually know for yeah. sure we certainly will uh, and we've got uh, hey, John in information that like we can uh, share or, or we what we've done is we've primed up uh, a list of information and stuff that we can add the little bit that we need to find out to it and then we're going to email that out to everybody that's signed up on our list um, as soon as we know for certain if that makes sense 
Yeah, there's a section on the website, isn't there, where you can register your interest. That's right. So it doesn't secure you a box, but it knows, lets us know that you're interested in a box yeah. so that we can let you know stuff when we know stuff. Yeah, and then as soon as we've got price information and everything else, we will send out emails and make sure that you definitely want it, and then we can make sure that we're going to have enough and what have you which is cool so planned as much as I think that we can possibly plan which isn't a lot when they're not telling you out no no one caught the Pokemon boo it's I a fix know. Pete tried I heard that Mrs MLG is going to paint another zombie shark for me says Pete no that's not what I said Pete I said you should get a zombie shark because they're super cool. Posted a uh, zombie shark. Yeah. Yes, which I know. I picked which, it. Which means you must have picked it. Yeah. <laughs> I picked it because I picked the post on a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> you silly sausage. Been there all day with you. Did you not know? Yeah, I did. It was good. <laughs> I think it was good. I was a different floor. Yeah. Good when you came and you talked to me. Oh, it makes you feel sound like I just abandoned you. <laughs> We're uh, not here. No stream on Wednesday. Oh, aren't we? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No stream, got, no, no stream on Wednesday. Mrs. MLG and I are going. Uh, it's Wednesday. Of, oh, just dropped me, bloke. He stabbed me. He stabbed me in the tummy with his side. Uh, is it a Wicked Deed Day? Yes. Wednesday. Are you, are you going to stream extra? Wicked Deed. Wicked Deed. Wicked Deed. Wicked Deed. We're not here on Wednesday. You can stream extra. Wicked Deed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not here, uh, I'm afraid. Mrs. MLG and I are going to uh, the Games Expo for a retailer day on Thursday. So we're going down oh, on Wednesday. Yeah. I thought the Game Expo was a weekend. Well, it starts on uh, Friday, officially, but we're going to the retailer thing on the Thursday. Why does it last that long? Yeah. Like... Yeah. Wowzers. Yeah, so it's so, it's so romantic, it's taking me away for work. Depends on where I'm at. Oh, ooh, mysteries surrounding Wicked D. Oh, you see, she's so popular, she's never in. Came and spent the day with you yesterday, didn't she? She came down, yeah, we played some games on the gaming floor. Wicked D reckons that she's never been on our gaming floor. Really? I mean, I'm sure she should know, because, you know, if it's her. Mm. And if she has not been, then she would know. But then I don't suppose there's really been any cause. If, if Wicked D's just coming to buy stuff, maybe yeah. not need to. See, I, I said the same thing. I went, what, really? Are you sure? And then when we went back downstairs again, Carl, the author that was in on Sunday, asked me if we were sisters. All right. <laughs> I think it was just the way that I was talking to her. Like, are you sure? I'm stupid. <laughs> like and I said, no, uh, we're friends. And, and I wouldn't go around saying that, uh, that she looks like me because that might upset her. <laughs> She typed, don't forget I'm your sister at the same time as I was saying it. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen. Yeah, he did, yeah. He was a nice lad. Uh, some people were asking him about his book, which is what he'd come for, and yeah, he got was, lots of good yeah. questions, and I think he had a, a nice time, didn't he? Yeah, he as, as nice time as you can sitting at a desk on our shop floor. Got harassed by some kids. You said that the kids asked poignant questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said to me after. I think he was humouring them a little. So on Sunday was our Star Wars events day, which really needed a cat catchier title. But uh, that's what it was called. Because you can't have Star, Star Wars day in May and it not be May the... Uh, yeah, May the 4th. So... And the Star Wars people came down. They did keep disappearing, which was a bit strange. They kept wandering off into into different streets and all around showing off 
no costume. They didn't stand outside the shop um, for very long and they kept walking about. Uh, raising money for two charities and as well as uh, as well as the was it Echo Galactic Base? I think that's what the group's it's, called. Uh, Echo Base Galactic oh, Alliance. I was so close. All the all the words were there, just not in the right order. Yeah. Uh, which is why I keep calling them the Star Wars people because the name's not sinking in. Uh, but as well as those lovely people all dressed up, um, we also had Meet the Author, which was Carl Forshaw. Yes, Carl Forshaw. I was going to say that. Sorry. Uh, who brought along his book for book signings, uh, a self published fantasy author. And we also had lots of Star Wars games, X Wing Legion, and the new Shatterpoint demos uh, going on. And we had a company that scan you and produce 3D images and SDL files and stuff of miniatures of you so that you can print them out or have them printed out and you can have little mini U's running around on your gaming table so that was that, cool. That hey Red! Awesome. And, uh, and Red was there demoing X-Wing which was super kind and, it, and everyone seemed to have a nice day. Yeah. And the charity raised £138.83 pence, if memory serves. I have put it on Facebook. Um, so that every little helps, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I wish that I had not been uh, quite so busy so I could have played some games. Yes, you, you were just serving in the shop. Yeah. I played some games with Wicked Dean. We played Museum Suspects and uh, the Kittens, Exploding Kittens. And me and Little Miss played Bandido and Muddles. Is the Muddles the one where you have different bits of animals and you have to make animals? Yeah. Comes with a free story book as well. Mm -hmm. Short story book. Which Little Miss read again, even though she's read it every time we play it. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's just a fun, fun kids' games. I like Museum Suspects. That's, that's cool. It's like Guess Who and Cluedo all wrapped together. For ages eight plus, and I won, so you know. Ta -da! <laughs> Wiki D was trying her best to be strategic, and I kept going, I kept saying to her, It's only supposed to be for eight year olds, <laughs> it's not supposed to be Sherlock Holmes level. <laughs> but your uh, your friend Stuart was trying to do it that one, eh? Oh, yes, my, my friend Stuart is very strategic in absolutely everything that he does, and, and he was being extremely strategic to the point where we had to hide our tokens from him because he was using how many tokens we had left to deduce things i was like oh for god's sake <laughs> <laughs> so uh museum suspects can be a very entertaining adults game as well i am uh, i am going to get on to painting something else i just need to it's get supposed to be painting uh, chrome yeah, i know i need to get to some paint on this thing oh. The dog's the dog's dreaming. Yeah, that's uh, that's a dreamy noise. I meant to meant to turn that off. My, uh, so it was lots of fun on Sunday. It does mean that Mr. MLG has been at work for two weeks without a day off. Uh, but you know, hey ho, <laughs> it was uh, it was lots of fun. And hopefully, everyone that came down had lots of fun too. We've had some good feedback. The people that were there and the people that sent us messages afterwards said that it, they really enjoyed it, so that's good. Awesome. It's so yeah. cute that he has cuddled up with his teddy. I know, he really likes it. I was like, it's good, it's good, but normally I give him a soft toy. We get them from the charity shop because it doesn't matter if I buy him a proper dog toy or something that's supposed to be the most robust toy in the world or whatever, he just rips them to shreds. Yeah. When we were on holiday last year, we bought him an octopus. It was eight quid, and it lasted about thirty minutes. Yeah, it was a, it was a dog toy, a proper, supposed, yeah, supposedly yeah. a proper, you know, oh, your dog with teeth and claws, oh, this will survive. No, nope. yeah. what a complete waste of money. So we've got this from uh, from the charity shops, and this was for a second hand shop, uh, and this one's lasted him. It's like he really likes it, which is lovely, which is lovely because I'd rather that happen. Yeah, he, he has eaten the label, but uh, but you know. Compared to normally, it wouldn't have a head left by now. That, to be fair, the label was... I expected that to go, because that was a different material, wasn't it? Yes, it had like something tied around its neck. 
Um, it must be like a, yeah, like a booful thing. So we ripped that off straight away, not having none of that malarkey. He's not allowed it when he's not with us, so he doesn't have it in his bed or anything at night time, just in case. He's always with us when he has his toys, just in case he gets something that he's not supposed to. But he is very good at ripping bits off and spitting them out and then ripping other bits. <laughs> he's very good at spitting the bits out. But yeah, so there you go, story of Gizmo. Little Red enjoyed himself. He looked like he was enjoying himself. He's such a lovely lad, you know, lad. When, when you'd um, gone to, um, for a moment or two and uh, somebody came over to talk to him about the game and he was telling them all about it and stuff, I thought that was really, really nice. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't shy. Uh, he was extremely polite and, uh, and informative. He was... Uh, I was, I was listening in case he needed a he needed a hand, but he didn't, obviously. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm so used to Little Miss not wanting to talk to anybody. When I went downstairs and she stayed on the sofa, I was really surprised. Mm. So you must have had a calming influence on her, Red. Because normally, when I when I went downstairs to uh, to get the milk, and I, and I left her on the sofa upstairs. She would normally insist on coming with me and not being left on her own, but she yeah. was. Uh, she was yeah. like, "Nah, fine." I'm surprised that she uh, she hadn't come downstairs to find me or anything. Yeah. All all good. Yeah, it was a good day. Good day, wasn't it? That was all I kept saying <laughs> when we got home. So I was tired. It was a good day. It was a good day. It's so nice to have noise and people enjoying games and chatter and everything on the gaming floor. The whole reason that we that we had the gaming floor because it would be much more profitable to turn it into an, an extension of the shop. Yeah. It would make much more sense from a business point of view to have more stock on that shop on that floor. But from a gaming and the love of MLG point of view, uh, just having people playing games and having a nice time and the noise and the excitement and everything like that can't really beat it. No. I mean, it does mean that you know. We can't eat for most of the week uh, when it's quiet and we're not getting any sales. But, uh, you know, it's still nice for the noise <laughs> and the atmosphere. <laughs> like today. Today's been a horrendous sales day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no tea for us tonight. But then the shop was shut. So. Oh, definitely said he could trio with us. Oh, cool. On, on what? What's def Let's have a look. Oh, the kid thing. Uh, pal oh, what's Hammond? Well, you two choose. You two choose which one you want, because I don't really want to do any of them. She's why they're just rattling around in my ba in my box. So you, <laughs> so you two choose which one you want, and I'll just go with that. And then me and you can do the oystery dude, um, as a duo. Ah, I see. Look at us. Organised. Look at us. You are. I can see. I've got two screens you now. <laughs> do you still want? Yes. Yeah. There. Is that all right? Are you all right with that? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Sharon's typing faster than I'm asking the question. She's answering my questions before, <laughs> before mm. I've asked them. Yep, yep, no problem at all. Duo oyster dude. He's a funny look. He's, he's in front of me here. He's a funny looking guy. Mine's all sticky. I don't know what he's being primed with. He's got dog hairs and all sorts stuck to him. This is me preempting how rubbish he's going to paint up because he's really. He's been in this box for months and he's all no, no, I, icky. I... I can say with complete certainty that I have never primed that mini. Yeah. He's only primed in grey. It's not like... Mm. I don't know, anyway. He's all sticky and horrible. Uh, I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to paint him. He looks very grumpy. I think he looks grumpy. Not quite as mm. grumpy as that Pokemon that's just appeared in chat there. That's like a plug. A plug socket. Very European plugs. Trying to walk away. No, you will not plug me in. No! <sighs> But yeah, I see. Trio and duos. Boom. Sorted, nearly, practically. Look at us go. Excuse me. So, uh, on, the, on the subject of Pokemon, I was going to say something when you were saying about the noise oh, and stuff on the gaming floor. So, on Saturday, we had a uh, Pokemon pre-release for the next Pokemon release set, which is Paldea Evolve. And, uh, and it was absolutely fantastic. When um, the kids, when we'd finished, so, and, and the kids had got their packs of cards that are like the participation bonuses and stuff. 
there was one young lad who uh, opened his opened his pack of cards and erupted with such excitement because he had got exactly what he wanted out of the pack that he opened that I wish I could have like bottled that enthusiasm and shriek of joy so we could uh, share, share it with everybody because it was just absolutely awesome. That is one of the main things, like Emma says, why we opened the shop in the first place because we want people to... You said he jumped it, into the air. He did, yeah. He was so happy that he got <laughs> like this, this one card that he was really after. And before the event started, he was telling me how excited he would be to open this card and then he got it and it was it was awesome. It was awesome. I really like the way that I've painted that bit on that model. And I can't remember what paint I used. That's annoying. So here's my chrome dragon. The other week we uh, we painted this guy with uh, Green Stuff World chrome paint and it was too bright. So, what I've done just before the stream is I've given it an all over wash of null oil so it gives it a little bit more definition. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to paint its mouth and stuff. And then my intention is to dry brush it with some uh, dry brush it with some uh, more chrome paint, is, is the plan. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, black green. I remember when I when. Uh, I think you picked it. Did I? I think Did so. I picked the wrong paint. No, no, you got the right paint. So we got it, and then, oh no, I picked it. I picked it. Okay. I, I remember because no, I no, went. You picked it because Sharon's yeah. got your signature. Yeah. So I I went into the stock room and I looked at the code and I thought, well, that's that says it's black green, not um, was it dark green or something? But that's the right skew. And then I looked at it and then I looked well, looked it up to double check it. And, uh, and I saw that it was the correct thing. And I thought, well, that's uh, that's good. Because <laughs> that's what we wanted. We wanted the right stuff. Oh, what, I, don't know, I can't remember what um, I painted it. I'm really annoyed. What colour should I paint his tongue? It's currently black. I think I want to paint it really bright. I think I might do it lollipop magenta. What green? green shadow. That was it. That was it, green shadow. But it's the same, the same paint. They've just changed the name on some of them. So, uh, maiden flesh, and a couple of the others are, are renamed. I've got maiden um, flesh in my hand. Have you? I've also got a paintbrush in my mouth. Oh, I can't think what colour I don't know, darling. I can't tell you. Mrs. MLG has got a paintbrush in her mouth and her head in the cupboard. <laughs> Are we bumming here? <sighs> so when I painted my green bloke on his horse, my green horse, I painted the cloth and his face and everything. And I really like the way I've painted that compared to the blue horse. I can't remember what paint I used. So that's annoying. That's good to know. It'd be great if Reaper put this information somewhere because I really have been saving my last drops. <laughs> do you do you know any of the others? Uh, or, or how do you know? <laughs> how do you know? I, I think I remember reading it in a blog post on the Reaper site. You know, like on the forum thing. Alright. When uh, it was when they were changing the paint range. So they got rid of a load of reds and stuff, didn't they? So there's a load of reds and a load of browns. I think it was to do with the pigment that they decided that they weren't going to use anymore for some reason. But the, a lot of the reds and the browns kind of disappeared. And then at that point, a few of the paints changed names. I think it was in a blog post. But why, why then? I mean, just, just why? <laughs> Yeah, I remember an old blog post as well, but I don't really know how much about paint back then. Didn't have my favourites yet. Well, it must be an old blog post then. I think, uh, 
think this dragon should have really bright red eyes. Alright, and what are you going to use? I'm going to use some Vallejo. That's orange. It's fire red. Ferrari red. But it's an orange but red though, isn't it? It's Ferrari. It is a little bit of an orange so red. So if you want really bright, do you really want orange red? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Fair enough. And, it, and it's an air paint, so it's super thin. Oh, it looks proper evil. It's great. Proper evil. Yeah. But silver dragons are supposed to be good. So why have you made it evil? Oh, I don't know. Because I want Cause it. Because it, it's a chrome dragon. It's gone off the rails. <laughs> it's got tainted. Yeah. It's gone, off, it's gone off the uh, gone off the deep end. Right then. So we're gonna do uh, do the base in the traditional way. What's that? We're gonna use stone grey, then we're gonna wash that with Agrax and Norm Oil mix, and then we're gonna uh, highlight from there. Gonna have a hydrate. And I'm going to just see if I can absorb that little puddle that's in there. We, uh, Mrs. MLG didn't want to watch TV last night. And we uh, played Skyrim for about three or four hours instead, didn't we, Dana? <laughs> it was good. Although they haven't refilled my rock yet. <laughs> yeah, I think you've broken the rock. Yeah. So there is a, um, I'm sure everybody already knows this, but there is a, a chest in Skyrim. Is it in Dawnstar? Dawnstar. Oh, look, I know. Uh, that's actually a rock. So if you go and stand there, this certain rock, it's not really a rock, it's a chest. And it's supposed to refill with some super cool, awesome stuff because it's the ca traveling Khajiits are supposed to keep their stuff in there. And it's supposed to refill every 24 hours, so you basically just get free stuff. Half a mile's refilled about four times and now it's not working, so I think you've broken it. <laughs> yeah, probably. I have another I just ran out of, which is a good one, but it's out of stock. Doesn't seem discontinued then. What's, what's that then? What's that then, Sharon? <clears throat> I need some... I need some black. We do. We need... Yeah. I think we need a list and I'll bring them home tomorrow. Because I, uh, I need a couple... Uh, 9003 Blood Red. Ooh. Ooh, look, ooh, he made a funny noise then. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have a quick check and see if it's. I think that might be one of the ones that's gone, you know. Well, how, how am I supposed to know if it's gone? Uh, it'll be missing completely from the Reaper webs. Oh. Uh, where, where's all that? Reaper website? Reaper site has it. Says ah, then, uh, then we will get some. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just done it. We have. But why we, didn't, uh, why didn't, did we not do paint? We did do paint. So we we probably had some at that point because we we did all the paint that we didn't have. Yeah. It's got a different code now. Has it? Well, it's got two codes. On the, on the Reaper website, it's got 9003 and 9701. Ah, yeah. So I've noticed that a couple of them have got like two codes like that. And I don't know what the deal is because they've still come labelled with, 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 with the existing code. How random. But, um, I wonder what they're planning on for that then. I don't know. Kit did tell me that they were planning on revising the paint range. And or is oh, it because it comes in the triad? So the triad is... Ah, yes, that would make sense. Nine sevens, the triad code. Yeah, so it comes as part of the triad, which we're um... also sold out of. So it's part of the triad. That's why it's got two codes. Yeah. Uh, no, Kit, da, da, da. Kit told me they were looking at revising the paint range and the rack. So we've we've oh, recent terrible. we've recently replaced the rack with the one that we already had, haven't we? Mm. Although we need to sort the labelling out. <laughs> yeah, it's just hanging off the side at the moment. Faded khaki too. 
I just got a bottle so I don't need it as soon as that but faded khaki 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 did I say it right? Okay. Oh, 9129. Yeah, that must be part of a tri uh, triad as well, 9743. Yeah. This, this dragon should be. Uh, Which we're also sold out. How come we sold out so much when we did all the things? I don't know, don't know, do Wow, well, no. that's, that's another thing we've got to do now, then, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> well, we'll do that after the stream tonight. Oh, so we have such fun, such fun evening. <laughs> Well, if we do it, do it dead quick, then we can get on to, then we can go and play a bit of Skyrim. Okay. We bought a house. Because I brought them all. Yeah, probably, Sharon. Yes, we've just brought, we've just purchased a house in Skyrim, haven't we? Yeah. We bought, uh, we bought Honeyside in Riften. Which, uh, if anybody's played Skyrim before, you'll know is, uh, is one of the cheaper but better equipped hobbles that you can own. you talk about our house like that yeah it's uh, since we're playing the more up-to-date version on the uh, on the newer Xbox uh, we've got features that we didn't have when we used to play it on the 360 so uh, now we can go fishing and there's new rocks and magical stones and stuff that we can collect and, oh, we, and, and we don't know what half of them do, but yeah, we can go fishing. So now we've got this house. It's got its own private little fishing dock. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. And I don't remember it having a cellar before. But it might just be because... I can't remember. I can't really remember. Oh, it's really bugging me that. I can't remember what colour. Doop, 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 doop. So, I think. Yeah. Well, I was going to stick this guy on a on a, a bigger base, but. But. I don't know if I want to now. Well, why Why don't you want to? Because well, once I've once I've painted this with the grey, then it's going to mean pulling him off this painting handle that I've glued him to. And which then, you're going to have to do anyway. Which I'm going to have to do anyway, but. Pulling him off this painting handle and then uh, building the rest of the base around him. Oh, don't bother then. I know, but then if I don't do that, then it's going to look weird because all my other minis are based. <sighs> well, do it then. Just, I just wanted to build a bit of, you know, you're having a dilemma. I wanted to have a dilemma. Not a dilemma. <laughs> I'm just grumpy. I can't remember what colour I've used. Yeah. Drama, that's what I was trying Get some drama going on. Maybe, maybe I'll show you. You might know. You might be like, oh, that's mm. obviously that colour. Yeah. It'll only be one of the colours that's in this drawer over here. So that. Where is he? Oh, that's it. What, the green or the. Uh... No, the, the cloth around its edge. Uh, that is Green Stuff World Malefic Purple. Oh, this. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, what did you use? What did you uh, use? I think it was I something like it... li linen white or something like that you used, I think. It's not white, it's cream. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just make some up. Well, you, you'll find linen white in the cupboard and see if it's... I've got linen white. Dirty bone. Blonde highlight. Blonde highlight, that was it. No, it was blonde highlight, I'm sure it was. I used blonde highlight on the shatter point, did I? Uh can't remember. Yeah, I used I used I used blonde on the shatter point scenery to get the sandstone colour. Is that what you're thinking of? It might be, but see if just have a little Double that one and see if Aww, it looks the same. Oh, look at the little Pokemon! He's got his paintbrush ready to paint along with us. <laughs> that, that's actually his tail. That's super in some cute. Paint. A smeargle. I like the smeargle. <laughs> smeargle. Oh, I want a smeargle. I don't know 
don't know if I've sp- I don't know if I've spelt that right. <laughs> <laughs> I might not win him now because I don't know if I've spelt that right. Oh, he's nice. Cute. Yes, you're cute too, dog. <laughs> I've also got, just before the stream, I uh, I put some more uh, colory stuff on this snake because it was too bright, so I've darkened it down. It a was bit. very bright. Yeah, so very, da- very bright. Darkened it down just a touch, so I'm going to uh, sort his eyes out when I've finished on uh, the black undercoat for a Ganserax, which we're going to try and do now. We need some more black primer, that needs to go on the list. I mean, to be fair, nobody else tried to catch the super cute schmargle. Only me. We've had, um... I need to write this down before I forget. What? The paint list. We had uh, the really annoying busker who was back again today. Where does he sit? I assume it's a man. It is, yeah. he's, He's normally outside New Look. Which is all the way down the alley, and we have got all the windows shut and the door shut because we were closed, and you could still hear him. What What did you say you need? You need some black. Yeah, you need some black one's primer. Nine zero zero three and nine one two nine. And you can still hear him. And I'm all up for you know people trying to earn a living or whatever, but he doesn't know any songs and he can't sing, and he just shouts the same four lines over and over again and then and then sacrilege he started trying to sing cranberry zombie and i was like i don't <laughs> think so mate oh, yeah he's like is it is that one of the ones where he only knows the uh he only the, knows the, the word few, zombie the few words yeah he's, he's he's done that one before he also uh, he also went for um Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, he did that the other day. He only knows like half a dozen words to that. Yeah, and then he just tails off and goes yeah. into a different song. That's it. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> Purple Rain. Purple Rain is the only lyric he knows. <sighs> Can you hear him from the office, Wicked D? I know you weren't there today, but if, if you can't, then you're very lucky. It was in. He seemed to be in every room that I was in. I seemed to be at the back of the building quite a lot today, and he was. He was there in every room. Yeah. I was complaining about him in Discord, but I. Uh, I restrained from recording him so that you all had to listen to because that was that would have been super cruel. I refrained from going. Listen, listen to him. But he's so loud. So the music man was on the, on the market. So there's a gentleman that sells CDs on the market so he has his music blasting and that's normally all right music you know it's just a cd of whatever 80s or whatever and that's all right so he was and he he wasn't even drowning out the busker man and he had like all his stuff plugged in he must he he must have something the busker bloke couldn't hear his guitar i knew he had one i could hear it vaguely but then it was just just yeah i think he's, 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 he's got a little amp and stuff he had a uh, he had a dancer the other day. How do you dance? There's no uh, there's well, no music. To be fair, the lady was extremely drunk. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, she wasn't with him, was she? She no, was just no. a drunk lady who walked past. Yeah, well, that's that's different. That's different. I'm in I'm in the back of the. Oh yes, yeah, you are in the back of the office. Aren't you? I forget where you are nowadays. Um, so you you thankfully won't be able to won't be able to hear him. I don't know how the shop's closer. Cope. You can't think. It's just, you know, when something just grates on you. Yeah. I was trying to find codes for stuff and I'm like, oh, shut up, mister. <laughs> There's another one who's another busker who occasionally comes and he's uh, much better. He, oh, God, he, he, works. he only has a very limited uh, selection of songs that he sings, but he is getting better week on week as he, uh, as he comes back. I think he probably knows the songs there. Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah, he knows them all the way through. He was like, yeah. he, he started off singing my mirrors. He was like, Mama, and he was like, No, oh, don't, no, don't, um, yeah, yeah, and and yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> David was telling me about him. He's uh, 
thing the other day and then I heard it for the first time. Mm. When he said like, oh, he, he was singing Bohemian Rhapsody, I said, oh, what, what words does he know? Does he know like just Scaramooch and Thunderbolt no, and Lightning or whatever? He <laughs> doesn't even, he no, doesn't does even he? know that bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's yeah, the bit is. everyone knows. He just knows Mama and then yeah. like, mm. and then some noise. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway, so that's what I've been getting annoyed with today. Uh, whilst I've been picking orders, that, that lovely, uh, lovely gentleman singing. I had, I had mentioned it in Discord, and then Roy had to Google it because Roy, Roy didn't know what uh, bus was. Because uh -huh. Roy's not in England. thinking you, you, you're very lucky that you're not you're not hearing this guy he's special talent mm. he's like one of those people in the old days of x factor and stuff that used to think that they were awesome and go on. Oh, yeah. i'm gonna be the best i'm gonna be the best and then they were really bad there was all that was that was the best bit of it when it was on years ago, not not now. That was always the best bit, wasn't it? Which yeah, I, the, the, like the why, audition rounds. Yeah, which is now is why they they did it, why they showed it. But yeah, so deluded. It's like I know I can't sing, and and therefore would never go on such a show. You can't. Your friends and family should have told you not to. Oh, we we really love you singing in the house, not outside. Just sing for us, and we'll support you that way. Yeah. Remember that one where there was two girls, and one of them punched the other one on stage? Really? Yeah, like two teenage girls. And they got so, like, it was, they were like, Sam Carroll or whatever it's called, just like, oh, you're, you know, you're rubbish, blah, blah, blah. And she, she decided that it was all her mate's fault, and just punched her in the face. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't used to make them uh, when it first started. They didn't used to make them come on stage in front of like a whole stadium full of people, did they? It was yeah, they when used to they be in the back room, private room, and do it in there. Yeah, with the family waiting outside. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> X Factor. That, that wandered X off, didn't it? Yeah. X Factor, soap star, superstar, strictly mm. dancing on ice. What, uh, what have you miniatures wise got to tell us? Uh, miniatures wise. Miniatures. Or hobbies? Or, you know, what's this Battletech blind box malarkey? Oh, so um, we've had, for the last year or so, we've been asked for Battletech stuff. Um, and we've been getting the core sets in and the starter sets and stuff and they've been selling really well but it's been really hard getting other products like books and the other bits and pieces that go along with the game uh, and when I was ordering some board games the other day I saw that Asmodee had got some of these blind box things and I thought well we can't get all the other books and stuff in but we'll get what we can get, which is a random buy little box for fairly reasonable money where you get like a, a mech or whatever that you can add to your force. And I thought that that was pretty cool. So we, uh, so we got, so we ordered them in, thought they were pretty funky. And they're on the website now. And, and they're on the website now. And today, so when um, Catalyst have recently done a Kickstarter, for the next kind of round of uh, Battletech stuff. Uh, and we backed that as a retailer and today I've been sent the um, thing so we can put in all of the stuff that we want to get. And the advantage of this is that now we will be able to stock Battletech uh, and we will be able to get everything that we want to get because we'll be buying it direct from Catalyst rather than having to go through one of the distributors, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's going to take about a year for us to get it, <laughs> so I haven't fully uh, inspected it yet. But yeah, I was going to tell you about that later, and I forgot. I'm sorry. 
What's going on there? When I look that way, I've got a completely different coloured bit at the back of my head. You've got your, your hair is darker at the back of your head. Is it? Yeah, you're completely pure white <laughs> on top, and at the front near your glasses. And then as it gradually goes back, then your hair is it's black at the back, like it used to be before you opened a shop. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that I'm working on is wet now. What am I gonna do? Let's put a bit of texture on this uh, this base while well, we're waiting. You haven't got much longer. You could, you could talk to people about stuff. Uh, don't know what what would anybody like me to tell them about? I guess that's ask ask me anything. You've got you've got uh, nine minutes. Ask me anything you would like to know. Um, how many women have you picked up lately? <laughs> <laughs> the meaning of life. I can't help you with that one, we could do. Isn't it a number? 42, and I think. Sean is not here, is he? I hope he's alright. Mm. Maybe it's because it's a, um, a holiday. Might be with the family. Uh, the meaning of life. Yeah, go on then. Uh, so, the meaning of life is to get up in the morning, go to work, and uh, earn, earn money so you can buy miniatures that fulfil your life in ways that you might not realise possible. <laughs> or, uh, or play games, or similar. That's, uh, that's well, the, that's the, the, that's the meaning of life. I'm glad to know that we feature in your meaning of life. What do you mean? I mean, to be fair, that is your life. You go to work and you come home and you... Well, I wasn't being minutes. 100% serious, obviously, was I? You know, just trying to make it, like, shocking. <laughs> anyway. When, uh, when's Pikachu going to come down to the shop next? I don't know. I don't know. Depends. Uh, we'll have to ring Pikachu and uh, Demis up and see when they're available. School holidays are... Uh, now. Now. <laughs> I've... You've what? Pojoed myself? What's that mean? What's a pojoed? Are you being down with the kids speak again? What's a pojo? I don't know. There's uh, it was a Pokemon. Paint, painting mojo. I've painting mojo myself. What? It's not even a sentence. Even pandas dreaming of hobby. Have you have you lost your painting mojo? Is that what we're saying? Is that is that what it is? Is Mr. MLG's meaning of life not helping you realise <laughs> that uh, that really? All your life should be is is hobby. <laughs> Don't matter about them kids and that husband. Just get some painting done. I've been sat here painting and I've hit a wall. Right. It's probably so the, time so, to pack up then. So the other day I uh, super glued this guy onto. Oh, I thought you were going to give some help, wicked dear. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna carve him off. Why did you super glue him up? Because he was too big to fit in the painting handle. Oh, I see. So, that was. Oh, that don't was a bit you. Dangerous. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't. Don't do this at home. Mr. MLG is an idiot. Mr. MLG is a trained professional. He's not at all. Do not listen to a word he says. Keep my hands. Oh out of my way. god. I might have to turn it yeah, off. Yeah. There we go. That's fine. Please don't do this at home. Look at the creepy spider in the bottom of the corner instead. <laughs> Look at the creepy spider with four legs. So, so I need to, I'm going to glue him on a bigger base. That's what we're going to do. In, in the basing drawer. There's a Pokemon, it's a can, creepy spider. Can I recycle this one? Of course you can. So that is a base that I created with crackle paint. Uh, more than earth, I should imagine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll, re I'll recycle that one. That's a good size. Wicked Day says, it's probably tiredness, to be fair. I've been up since 4.50am. 
How's the car booting going? I can't think about worse, to be fair. Is that is that what you've been up to today, car booting again? Yeah. Mum used to make me go car booting. I hated it. You know, on, on a stall. And wh where have you been to be car booting? I've been to strawberry fields. It was rubbish today. What if it makes you feel any better? The shop's been rubbish today as well. Yeah. Um, we'd be bankrupt if it carried on like that. <laughs> Lots of people, but weren't spending. I think no one's got any yeah. money left. Yeah, I, I think that's the case. It's, we've had three bank holiday weekends this month, haven't we? And everybody's like all done out. Spent up. Spent up until payday. We can't afford it. Yeah, strawberry fields. I thought it must be strawberry fields. Yeah, that's uh, that's my theory. Yeah, and they want to they want to come back and spend because otherwise, you know, we'll be shutting the doors. <laughs> He laughs because he doesn't like me saying it because yeah. he knows it's true. This uh, Badlands crackle paint is is yeah. almost the same colour as the stone uh, grey from Reaper. Okay. Yeah. Where's, where's that scabby looking paper if I was going to use? There we go. See, I, I like I like black. I like the black crackle paints because black is my happy colour. <laughs> but I have I have used the red one, the Martian. Earth. Oh, I like the red one. I based all my uh, based all my iron jaws with that. And uh, what's what's the other one? The Winterfell one. Oh, Winterfell where, Plains. We have that you, kicking about. You've liked that one, haven't you? Well, yeah, I, I did a video showing, did I, did I do a video? Yeah. I intended to do a video. You did a show, video. Showing it because I didn't really understand what it would do. And then I did a video and, and no, now. Uh, so that one, had, I think that one had to have lots of uses really. Wouldn't that one dry clear? It, yes, so I did it dry clear like it's supposed to. And then I did it where it dried clear and then I painted some colours over it. To try and show. Hmm. What what it does, um, but I definitely like the black one better, which which we have more than Earth. Is is there a, any other black one, or is it just that one? I don't think Green Stuff Worlds have got a black one, have they? Not yet, but I think there's probably one coming. Hmm. Our Green Stuff World is on its way, isn't it? It is. It is. I haven't checked the tracking uh, since Saturday. The uh, delivery date is this week. Oh, and then it's the how much stuff's broken this time. Hopefully none. <laughs> well, it's the customs, isn't it? We, we take it all out and squiggle it all around and make a mess. This time it got held up in customs in Spain for a little while. All right. So it might have been squiggled around more than once this time, mm -hmm. then. Because squiggled around is a technical, you know, technical term, I guess. So you've only got a minute left, my darling. Are you telling us what you've done and showing us this Chrome Dragon, which was supposed to be today's stream? And yeah, yeah. I've, I've done some Chrome Dragon. It's because the ink wash took so long to dry. So this is uh, Chrome Dragon. He's got a lollipop magenta tongue. Is that uh, just for Pete? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got Ferrari red eyes, which, uh, look... Cool, uh, I think pretty cool and glowy. Uh, and then I'm going to build up a little bit of texture on his base and get the base finished. So we might have to do that tomorrow and then give it a quick uh, all over dry brush yeah. highlight of, of, uh, of the chrome again. In fact, I might not even do the dry brush because I think it looks pretty cool as it is. But we'll see. Once we've done his base, we'll see what he look, the rest of him looks like. And then I've undercoated. A Ganserax ready for action. I've run out of black primer, so this bit down here uh, we'll have to get finished when I've managed to pick some more paint up. And then we've just done uh, Badlands basing all over this snake. So I've once that's question. dry, we'll have another coat, I think. Yes, my dear. So you've, you're Chrome Dragon? Yeah. So bring it back so I can ask you. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you've stuck it to my crackle texture base. I have. But obviously the its base is higher, so I, how are you going to marry that up without just covering the crackle base up so it was pointless in using it? No, I was just going to cover the crackle up with something else. Oh, so you didn't want it to be crackle? No. You no. just wanted the base size? I just wanted the base size. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just going to recycle the base, you see, because oh, it was just in the drawer. Right. I thought you wanted it, wanted it so it looked like he was on like fiery lava. Ah, no. Sorry. I was going to base right. him like a base. what you want. I just wanted to have it. <laughs> so you're just going to paint it grey? I'm just going to paint it grey. Oh, well, that's exciting, isn't it? Okay, we have reached to the round. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Two Paint Tuesday, where uh, Mrs. MLG can... Uh, where I'll be complaining about something yeah, else. Yeah, pick on me some more. Oh, that'll be super long. <laughs> I know. I'm painting this... What's this called? That is... Uh, a Night Stalker... Soul Flare. Soul Flare. Yeah. So Mrs. MLG will be showing you how awesome she is at painting on this cool Mantic Mini tomorrow. Mm, well, there's no plan, as always. So anything anything could happen. Thank anything you everybody for being happen. here. We really, really appreciate it. Thank as you, always, everyone. We really do. Spread the word. Tell everybody about Mighty Lads Games. Get us some sales so we can eat food. Yay! <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs> Thank Bye. you.